Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this two-seater sofa and you can adapt it to draw one seat or three-seat sofa if you like. So what I did the first step is I went onto the internet and I got a picture of a sofa that I wanted to draw. So anything that you like with dimensions on it, uh, you can draw. So I changed mine a bit from what is shown on this picture. But you can make it anything you like. Um, there's no rules in how to draw a sofa. It's just the height, the depth, and the, the height of a cushion, the seat. Um, that's, that's the main part you're going to need. So to draw this sofa, I'm going to start with the side. This red side that I've just highlighted. So to go and get dimensions for this, it's 88 centimeters by 66 centimeters high but it's not 66 high because there's also a foot piece of 11 centimeters high so the height of this couch is going to be 55 centimeters so to start with i'm going to draw i'm going to go to top view and i'm going to draw a 2d representation of this side piece so the height we said is 55 centimeters, so it's 550 millimeters. Enter. Then the width is going to be 88, so 880 millimeters. And that is the size of the side of your couch. So on my picture, it doesn't give a, the width of this cushion. So I'm just going to go with, I'm going to make it 100, or make it 200. I'm going to make it 200 millimeters thick. So I'm going to go to my press pull command, make it 200. Then I'm going to rotate this so it's in the upright position. Then I'm going to move it to my drawing plane with the move command. So for move it's M, enter, or spacebar does the same as um, enter. So the total width of my couch is going to be 180 centimeters. So that's 1,800 millimeters. So to get the width of my couch, I'm going to start on this corner and draw it out 1800 millimeters and I know that is the total width of my couch so I'm going to copy this to the other side because they are identical the two sides of the couch C O enter For some reason it goes to the circle command when I type too fast so I have to type slower to go into that command so C O and enter then I go into the copy command or alternatively I can just select it on my drawing panel or my modify panel so next what I want to do is I want to draw this cushion this big one that you're going to sit on so the height of this is 43 centimeters minus that 11 of the feet. So it's 32 centimeters high. So I'm going to use the piece of the 3D drawing that I've already drawn. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to draw another line. But I know the cushion is not the same width. So I'm going to make the depth of my seat. Oh, I see there is a dimension. I'm going to make it 54 centimeters deep. So to get that depth, I'm going to copy this line with C O enter. I'm going to click a start point. Then you'll notice I never click on a line when I want to click a start point because that usually jumps to another point on a line or on something else that you most likely didn't want to select. So the, I usually click off 
the side of the object I want to move. So the height, let's just recheck the height, is 32 centimeters high. So I'm going to use a press pull function again. Make it 320 millimeters. Now I know the back cushion is not a straight cushion that comes up. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this side that I've already drawn. I'm going to draw the depth of the cushion. So now I know this piece here, this that is left, that is what my cushion can take up. So I'm going to start from the height of where the cushion ends. So it's going to be this height over here. Let's just make sure what it is. So it's 32 centimeters, so it's 320 millimeters. That's the height of the cushion. And I'm going to move this line up. So that's the height of the seated part of your couch. So from this angle or from this point, now I can make an angle of what I want the cushion to be. So you can make it any angle you want. You can even type in the bigger than and then the amount of degrees you want it to be. But I'm just going to make it whatever looks good to me. So now I'm going to press this, uh, I'll press pull this out. But to get the amount that I want to press pull out, I have to take that 180 minus the 400 or 40 centimeters that I've already used for the side cushions. So then I'm going to use the press pull function again and make it 1400. I'm going to rotate this. And then I'm going to move it into place. What you can do is you can select any point on this and try to move it into place. Or you can switch your viewport. If you're, you can switch it to 2D. And then you can see all the points on your couch. So I'm going to select that as my base point and move it into place. Because I know there's a corresponding one on the couch sides. So to get a two-seater, I'm going to use the slice command. And you can get it in your solid editing tab. And I'm going to select one at a time because if you slice two objects together, it joins them. So that is the back cushion. And I'm also going to slice the seat cushion. So what you can do now is you can delete all your construction lines or extra lines, 2D lines that you're not going to use. And I know there must be a few somewhere else on the drawing, but for now this is good enough for me. And then I'm going to switch to realistic and there you can see the basic outline of a couch. So the next step is to make it look more like a couch so you want to give it soft edges instead of these hard edges and to start to do that you have to go into the solid edit tab use the fillet command i'm going to keep my radius at 15 or you can alternatively change it if you want just for the side panels of this couch I'm going to go around and select all the sides of the side panel because that is how soft I want to make it on these and you'll notice if you want to select more than one object it won't be able to select it when you're in that fillet mode in 3D because it only you can only do one object at a time so I'm going to right click to accept the, uh, the fillet edge and I'm going to right click again to exit the command. So I'm going to do the same on this side. Make the cushion the same. 
give it the same soft edges. So as you can see, there's two corresponding lines, or there's two lines on top of each other. So that's why this command only can select one object, so that you don't select two objects or an uh, object that it didn't want to select in the first time. So that's why it works like this. And then I'm going to right click to exit, right click to accept the command. Now next I want to make the cushions, but the cushions are going to be a bit more round they're gonna have a bit more a bigger fillet radius let's just do the back just a second so i'm gonna select the back of the couch just to make it the same you see i wanted to select two objects again and it prohibited me from doing that so that I don't okay so next I want to make the whole back of the couch the same first I want to make sure that I select all the edges select accept and now the one I couldn't select in the previous one I'm going to be able to select it now because that side has moved away a bit. Next, I want to make soft edges on the bottom of the front of the couch. So I'm going to select this edge and accept that command. And then I'm going to select the other edge, accept that command. I'm going to remove this line. Okay, so now I want to make the cushions. Let's start with the back cushions. So it's going to have to stand out a bit. So to get that effect, I'm going to use a press pull function. And I'm going to go onto that. I'm just going to press or pull it out, let's say 10 millimeters. Well, that's not enough. So I'm going to undo with U, enter. Just go back to the normal view. So I'm going to go to press pull function again and I'm going to press or pull it, let's say, 100 millimeters. That's a good size for a cushion. And 100 again on that side. Now I have to make the edges round to give you that cushion effect. So I'm going to use the fillet edge again, but I'm going to change the radius, let's say to 75. So as you can see, it's going to make a much bigger one. And give you that effect of a cushion. Then I have to do the bottom as well. And the other side, I'm going to do the same. Accept that. As you can see, this side worked, but the other side didn't work because I used, I didn't fill it everything at once. So to remedy this, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to select that one. Go to Home, Modify, Mirror. I'm just going to mirror this so that we have two of the same objects. And with the 2D mirror, you have to have a point on the drawing surface of which you are drawing on. So next we're going to have to change the bottom cushions. 
and to do that we're gonna I'm gonna leave the radius of the fillet the same and I'm just gonna do the same as I did with the top one And I'm going to leave this side in so it blends in with the couch. And I'm just going to use those three sides to make a cushion. And again, I'm going to do it on the other side. And then you have a couch that looks quite good and you can use in your models. So next, the last step we want to do is we want to put in the feet of the couch. So I'm going to go to home again, draw a 2D representation of the bottom of this couch or the side. Now I know I made it 200 when we drew it first. And as there are no dimensions on the size of the cylinder, I'm just going to draw whatever size I prefer on the edge of the couch and make it 110 high because that's what they specified in the drawing that I've downloaded. So you don't have to draw the other one. So first we're going to modify this to look a bit better. And you can do this with the fillet or the chamfer command. Also go to solid, fillet, or let's make it a chamfer. So I'm going to use this chamfer. I'm going to leave the distance 1 at 15 and distance 2 at 15 as well. And so, uh, accept the command. And as you can see, it's a much better looking foot than just a cylinder. So next step is to, to mirror this. I'm going to go modify, mirror, mirror this to the other side. Now the next step is a bit more difficult. I'm going to take this that I've drawn. I'm going to move it up the same height as the cylinder or the foot that you've just drawn, the time didn't tin, and I'm going to move these two with this as a reference point to the couch. So I'm going to select this center point of the line and the center point of the couch make sure you select or get a reference from the bottom one as well and there you have two feet sitting on your couch so I'm going to use this again and I'm going to use the mirror command again I like to use a 2d mirror command because it's easier to control and as you can see you have a couch with the feet, cushions, and everything that's needed. And we've drawn it solely from the picture that I've downloaded from the internet. And you can color this any way you want. You can do that by selecting any part of it and changing the color in your properties tab. And you can bring this tab up by typing PR enter. So I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope you use this in one of your models. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.